US has given the green light to a series of strikes on Iranian targets in Syria and Iraq after a drone attack killed three US soldiers in Jordan near the Syrian border on Sunday. The attack injured 41 other US troops at this military base known as Tower 22. The US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said the United States would not tolerate attacks on American troops. Well, this is a dangerous moment in the Middle East. We will continue to work to avoid a wider conflict in the region. But we will take all necessary actions to defend the United States, our interests, and our people. And we will respond when we choose, where we choose, and how we choose. Our North America editor Sarah Spender joins us now. And what more do we know about that response? Well, we know that plans have been approved for a series of strikes over a number of days, so this action will take a while. Uh, targeting Iranian personnel and facilities, but not inside Iran, in Iraq and in Syria. That's where the uh, Iranian-backed militia who've been attacking U.S. forces have been operating from. That's where uh, they were operating from when they killed three U.S. soldiers at the weekend. And that distinction is very, very important. Because if America was actually to strike targets inside Iran itself, that would risk dangerously escalating tensions in the region. And this is the, the really delicate balance America is trying to come up with. They need decisive retaliation that is dramatic enough, they hope, to deter further attacks on their forces. But at the same time, they don't want to do anything that could cause the conflict to spread. That's the very thing they've been trying to avoid happening. Sarah, in another development, we've learned tonight that President Biden is taking action against a number of Israeli settlers who've been accused of attacking Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. Yeah, this is really unusual. He signed an executive order, so that means the president can do this all by himself to impose sanctions on just four, for now, um, Israeli settlers. And there has been an, an uptick in violence, some of it deadly, uh, against Palestinians in the West Bank. America has been growing increasingly frustrated by that, so they are applying now the same sanctions against some Israeli settlers that they apply to terrorist organizations. And that has clearly infuriated the Israeli government who say they're the ones who will take action against lawbreakers in their country and that these unusual measures are completely unnecessary. And I think this gives us a glimpse of uh, something wider and important that has been going on, and that is America and President Biden himself's frustrations with the Israeli government. Because they're having constant conversations, not just about this, but about the conduct of the war in Gaza. They're having disagreements, and they feel that Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, is not listening to them, and not doing what they ask. And this, I think, just shows us a rare sight in public of what is an increasing rift between America and Israel. Shalom. That was a BBC report talking about a dangerous moment as it prepares to strike Iranian um, targets. And also another one here. U.S. approves a plan to strike Iranian targets in Syria, well, Iraq. Secretary concluding a very lengthy news conference talking about it being a date. Prepares to strike Syria and Iraq. The other one I was showing, um, U.S. approves to plan uh, to strike Iran, Iranian targets in Syria and Iraq. Let me see, let me see what this says. Let's see what this one is. This is a seven minute one. U.S. has approved the plans for a series of strikes on Iranian targets in Syria and Iraq. Officials have told the BBC U.S. partners the strike would BBC, uh, CBS News, U.S. partners. The strike would take place over a number of days, officially, officials said, and weather conditions will likely dictate when they are launched. Um, it comes after the drone attack um, killed um, three U.S. soldiers in Jordan near Syria border on Sunday. The U.S. has blamed Iranian-backed militant groups for the attack. Islam resistance in Iraq, which is believed to contain, contain multiple militias that have been armed, funded, and trained by Iran's Revolutionary uh, Guard Force, which would be the R, the IRGF, 
has said it was responsible for the strike. And the other one, which I was reading, was um, Has given. The video we were looking at is the um, U.S. has approved plans to seriously strike Iranian targets in Syria and Iraq, expected to target Iranian backed militant groups in their facilities, and it said it must retaliate following a drone attack with uh, which uh, deleted three U.S. armed troops near Jordan near the Syrian border and wounded dozens, I believe, uh, dozens, like over 40 or plus plus. Um, and U.S. Secretary Lloyd Austin said it was a dangerous moment in the Middle in the Middle East in the United States. Did not want to provoke a wider conflict. So they want to do a precisive, pretty much an effective form of retaliation without escalating a more broader and wider um uh, spread relating to this war, to this uh, potential war, man. Right? Uh, we say the U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd said it was a dangerous moment in the Middle East. In the United States, did not want to provoke a water conflict. However, however, he said that the U.S. must act and protect its forces in American interests, man. Right? The U.S. has announced sanctions against some of the Israeli settlers in. The West Bank accused of violence um, against the Palestinians. And uh, Sophia, I mean, Sophie uh, Raworth, Raworth, President of BBC, at 10, reporting by Sarah Smith in Washington. So, the plan that's relating to the, uh, the retaliations because of what happened in um, relating to those um, three. Of U.S. soldiers that were um, that were deleted or killed, and dozens were wounded. So they pretend they they they're gonna um, plan to do some kind of uh, retaliation. And of course, set, uh, certain conditions uh, under certain conditions. Of course, you know that's to their favor to be able to uh, fully implement what they're trying to do. Such as I said in that report, the weather and different elements. You know, pretty, pretty much to their advantage, man. You know, so but the point is, um, they want you know some form of uh, uh, payback on that. You know, um, so U.S. air strikes. That was BBC report. Um, you're gonna have. Let me see. Go to Matthews 24. It's gonna be regular lesson. Matthews 24. Go to 6. Let's get an NIV, which is the new inter new international version. Let's see what that says. Probably similar language. Twenty four and six. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed, not 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 alarmed, marvel or dismayed. Such things must happen. But the end is still, the end is still to come. So it's a lot more to come, man. Nations will rise against nation. That's what you're seeing. Kingdom against kingdom. That's what you're seeing. And there will be famines. That's what you're seeing. Famines, earthquakes in various, which goes to different places. All these diverse places. All these are the beginnings of, of the birth pains, which are sorrows, man. The lamenting and mourning relating to the birth pains, man like the pregnancy of a woman man so you're going to see famines you're going to see earthquakes in various respected areas all over the world famines shortages victual supply shortages and different things you're going to see nation against nation you're going to see kingdom against kingdom that's what you're seeing these major countries that you're seeing fighting against one another man 
You're also going to hear wars and rumors of wars, man. You know, you're going to actually see wars. Russia, Ukraine. Now you got um, U.S. possibly with um, Iranian, Syria, Lebanon, that area there. Uh, U.S. with Iran, possibly. Uh, Israel with um, um, uh, Hamas and um, continuation. Tensions with Israel, Iran. You know what I mean? U.S., Iran. You know, so all these nations, man, major nations, uh, key nations, you're going to see that they're going to uh, rise up against one another. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know what I mean? So you're going to see and hear the rumors of gossip of war and also actual, you're going to see wars, man. You're going to see collateral damage. You're going to see um, 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 uh, war casualties, man. That's what you're seeing, man. You're hearing it and you're seeing it. Um, let's go to um, go to three and these nations are going to participate relating to uh, World War 3 yeah? go to 11 and 14 talks about the second war has come the second war has come the second war has passed and the third war cometh quickly yeah? that's 11 and 14 man yeah? You know, I mean, second woe is destruction, man. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. The most sudden of the destructions is going to be those missiles, man. You know what I mean? The fervent heat, right? To um, the second Peter is 3 and 10 on down, man. You know? So, um, this, these are these are, the, these are the nations that's going to participate relating to World War Three, Relating to those missiles, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's evil. It's ugly. That's the reality, man. Um, let's go to um, Joel three. Let's get out of NIV. See what that says. It's a little quick lesson, you know, because they were planning on how to precisely. With precision relating to um, retaliation, man. To do it without, you know, uh, broaden more escalation relating to uh, spreading like a cancer relating to um, possible blown out war, man. But it's going to happen, man. Uh, three and nine. Proclaim, which goes in now, this among the nations prepare war, prepare war. Rouse the warriors, which are the soldiers, man. Let all the fighting men draw near and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruner hooks into spears. Pretty much agricultural material, agricultural, you know, palfrenea or, you know, um, um, yeah, palfrenea or equipment going to be used as formidable weapons, man. Turn into formidable weapons, in a matter of speaking, man. Let the weaklings say I'm strong. So the weak, we no longer weak. We are strong. These nations, for example, nations that weren't as militarily powerful in, their, uh, in the past now are becoming. Now all nations, even the smaller nations, are becoming potentially, you know, me armed and geared up potentially for war, man. So let the weak say I am strong. Come quickly, all the nations from every side and assemble there. In the land of Yahweh Shapat, Amagawan, Army of Troops, Mountain of Troops, man. Sometimes mountains represents governments as well. So these troops, man, and they all assembling themselves together for war, man. Um, bring down your warriors, Lord. So your warriors, your soldiers, man, the mighty men, which will die in war. Go to 2nd Ezra 16, 32 and 33. Go to uh, Isaiah 3. 25 and 26 and then relating to these nations trying to come up against the Lord go to second uh, Esdras 11 the man from the vision of the eagle man the man from the sea Yahweh Shai. then you have uh, 13 you know what I mean so uh, second Esdras 11 second Esdras 13 you have uh, revelations 12 and 7 talk about um the um 
the beast's angels which relates to the military. The angels represents the military of the um, of the red dragon. Red dragon will be Edom, one who take peace from the earth. Go to Revelation six and four. So the red dragon and their angels representation relating to their military jets and their military might, the hammer of the earth, man, that tool instrument of cruelty. Through their what? The military, man. That's their that's the that's their might. That's the that's the that's the that's the hammer. You know what I mean? That's the hammer of the earth, man. You know what I mean? So their military planes and different things will represent the angels versus the Lord and his angels, man, which will be the armada. Armada, which means pretty much a, a fleet of uh, chariots, you know, chariots, which they will call UFOs, man. You know what I mean? Or, you know, other names would be chariots, car, you know what I mean? Motor ve um, motorized spiritual vehicles, man. Motorized spiritual vehicle, MSV, because that's what they are, man. Armada, a fleet of those motorized spiritual vehicles, man. You know what I mean? AKA UAPs, AKA UFOs, AKA um, chariots or Mariaka, you know what I mean? For chariot or car, vehicle, man. Spiritual vehicles. So that's what that is. Go to um, Zachariah 5 1 through um, uh, 4, talking about that. You know, that flying roll, which he was, uh, Zachariah was describing, he was calling it. That's what, how he looked at it. He, he called it as he, when he, when he seen, he called it a flying roll. That's how, when he, through the vision, he seen that. But that flying roll relates to the, um, um, the chariot, man, the chariots. Um, so 5, 1 through 4, the curse that's going to come over the face of the whole earth. That curse is going to be a curse here upon relating to the judgment, you know what I mean? part of that judgment is through the chariots man that's what that goes to um so and um so bring down your warriors let let the nations be roused so roused up let them advance advance means um move forward into the valley of Yahweh Shapat for he has judged Related to that, for I will sit to judge the nations on every side. Swing the sickle, man, for the harvest is ripe, so it's ripe, is ready. Come trample the grapes, for the wine press is full, and then grapes represents them being crushed. And out of the grapes, that wine represents that blood being pressed through the uh, wine press, man. And the vats overflow, fats overflow, pretty much being squeezed. So great is their wickedness, multitude, multitude in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So it's, it's near or nigh. And that's what that goes to, man. <clears throat> now that's Joel 3 through 9. Um, This is something short, you know, I don't make too long, um, relating to that report, BBC, and, um, talking about, you know, you know, a form of, um, you know, uh, retribution relating to, um, um, relating to, um, let's see what's up. Here we go, retribution. A punishment inflicted on someone as vengeance for a wrong or a criminal act. And that's what the America wants to do. They want retribution. They want payback, man. For what was wrongfully done. Punishment inflicted on someone as vengeance, man. For the wrong and criminal act. Yahweh Shemir Shah. He's going to form a retribution, man, for wrong for things that was wrongly done to certain people, man. You know what I mean? And that's the reward of the wicked, you know, that payback, that punishment, man, for pretty much their penalty and punishment, man. Uh, let me see. Punishment imposed for breaking a law, or rule, or contract. And the wicked has broke many laws, you know what I mean? So, so they much penalty. Much, um, they've broken much laws and different things, man. 
uh, what's the difference between revenge and retribution? Is what that the goal of retribution is to ensure that the punishment is um, commiserate to the offense, man. that word for a minute. Commensurate. Now, commensurate means correspondent in size, degree, and proportion. Let's go back to that. The difference between revenge and retribution, man. The goal of the retribution, goal of retribution is to ensure that the punishment is commensurate to the offense. So it's equally proportionate and appropriate. And in in line with the expectations of society, while revenge is a form of retaliation that is emotionally driven and seek to inflict personal punishment without regard for what is appropriate so sometimes for example rent revenge they so they so ensue with relate uh, with um emotionally you know what i mean and that sometimes that logic gets removed out of that part of that revenge and sometimes it goes beyond uh appropriate proportion relating to um what was uh what is actually needed or necessary for um uh needed or necessary Inappropriate, you know. I mean, and basically, you know, within the within the uh, within certain um, boundaries and degrees and limitations, man. You know, I mean, where it doesn't uh, supersede beyond a certain point, man. So it's a, it's a difference um, difference relating to that. You know, I mean, and sometimes, like I said, where revenge, as a, as that as that says, is emotionally driven. You know, I mean, so they they. They're going by their emotions, man. You know what I mean? And sometimes their emotions can take them to a, beyond a certain place they might not want to go. All right, so... Um, so that's the difference. One is re- really emotionally driven and seeks to inflict personal punishment. So it's a personal thing, man. That revenge, man. It's more personalized, sometimes more personalized. But the retribution... And really, on some levels, that retribution can it can be personalized, you know, relating to the retribution in in the revenge, you know what I mean. But one's a little bit more um, more emotionally based, driven behind it, man. You know what I mean. And the other one is just you know, is just um, relating to um, the boundaries and what's um, was set relating to the boundaries. You know what I mean. Pretty much. In a matter of speaking, one is a little bit more controlled than the other, man. Because sometimes with emotions, you know, that self-control gets removed out of the equation. That's what that goes to. Sherlock for, you know, going off, um, not going off, but, um, but um, you know, going into detail and then separating the two. Um, so, in this case, relating to this specific situation, they, they want it to be where it's proportionate. But uh, appropriate, you know. What I mean, as far as um, um, justice, as far as um, payback, you know. What I mean, regarding retribution, you know. What I mean, was appropriate and within 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 boundaries and within the means. All right. Um, let's go to um, what else? This is just a few scripture, scriptures relating to that, and um, I hope this helps. So that was a report on that relating to that. I hope it helps in some way. We give all praise, y'all watching me, y'all shout watching Makakadash. Honors, elders, apostles, men, and truth on down relating to uh and like mind is relating to this truth and knowledge. We know this truth and knowledge and Thawadi Alba Shumi Al Shah for putting the spirit elders, apostles, men and truth on down. Relating to uh, uh this truth and knowledge, so we can know this truth and knowledge and call all y'all Bashim Yashabashim Makakadash. All praise y'all Bashim Yashabashim Makakadash. Hope it helps in some way. Shalom.